Finger Puppet Management TV series by Group Legacy. General concept. Triple Threat is an entertainment company based in Brooklyn, New York. The owner of the company, Kane, is embezzling money from the company in order to fund his mob connections. He leads out of fear and most of his employees dislike him. Employees do not stand up to Kane because they fear any retaliation. Fraudulent billing statements are uncovered and it is up to Millen, the company's manager, to put a stop to Kane's fraudulent activity and to turn things around of the employees of Triple Threat. Target audience. The entertainment business, any working class between the ages of 18 and 15. Detective mystery solvers, thrill seekers, and happy ending lovers. The summary of the characters is that Kane is the CEO of the owner of the Triple Threat Entertainment and the leader of the Mafia based in Brooklyn, New York. He leads out of coercive power and fear. He lives with his wife and four, ch four children in a beautiful home just outside of New Jersey. His employees hate him. He is falsifying billing statements, committing tax fraud, and embezzling money from Triple Threat. Kane was not always a ruthless, heartless leader. Born into poverty to a coke addict and a father in prison, Kane grew up in a foster care. As a child, Kane was very smart and attended the best schools in New Jersey. His father's parents were very rich and gave him everything he wanted. He was the only he was the only child and had no other family outside of his foster parents. So he thought everything was going great in Kane's life until a tragic ha accident happened which changed his life forever. A drunk drive hit his and killed his foster parents and he was placed into back into the foster care where he experienced abuse mistreatment at the hands of his foster parents forced back into poverty kane started attending one of the toughest high schools in america glee high where gang banging and drug dealing was a way of life kane eventually ran away from his foster parents and joined america's most ruthless gang the smurfs kane later finds out the leader of the smurfs is his first cousin on his mother's side kane still very intelligent, learned how to be con conniving and ruthless from his cousin. Another tragic accident happens in Kane's life when a rival gang member, Gargamel, captures Kane's cousin and sends him away for good. At 37 years old and standing at five, six foot five and 250 pounds, Kane proves that mat managerial ethics shape a um, shape. The way a person views ethics. For example, suppose Kane's foster parents were not killed in the car accident by a drunk driver. He would have attended the best schools, went to college, got a great paying job, been a model citizen, and may have never joined a gang. Our book teaches that family, friends, peers, teachers, religion, job experiences, and life experience are all play a significant role in the development of an individual's ethic Cold values and judgment. The experiences that Cain faced when he was young influenced his unethical behaviors. Throughout the development of the story, we will show how Cain's behavior will not only affect his business, but the lives of his employees, placing them in the middle of social consensus. Cain's actions almost brings triple threat to a close until his operational manager Milton steps in and holds him accountable for the actions by going to the cops. Milton changes the way Kane thinks and after taking over triple threat implements code of ethics for all employees to follow. Milton grew up in Tampa, Florida, where he became the graduate of the University of South Florida. He's the operational manager of triple threat. He's young, smart, Innovative, intelligent, positive, and a dedicated team member. He gets along with his employees. He's highly likable and respected by his employees. He just he loves his job and hopes to save enough money to purchase Triple Threat from Kane. Melon is unaware of Kane's ties with the mom. He knows that Kane is once a member of the Smurfs, but the odd that Kane had let go. That part of his life, when one of his employees comes back to him about his unethical behavior, he remembers a teaching from Dr. Diazzo, management class of USF on whistleblowers. 
Whistleblower is an employee who discloses illegal or unethical conduct on the part of others in an organization. Mullen believes that Kane's actions are so grave that he must be exposed and held accountable for his actions. Mullen is not afraid to confront Kane about his unethical decision making, but one of his employees, Kim, cannot risk the safety of her family by coming forth about Kane's unethical behavior. Throughout the remaining episodes, we will show the steps that Mullen takes to explain the process of whistleblowing to Kim and help her understand the power of whistleblowing. Episode 1, The Call-Out. This episode will introduce the audience, the audience to the characters and workplace setting. We will show the audience how the business operates on a day-to-day -day basis. In order to set the scene for the rest of the series, we will show a scenario that depicts the major differences between Milton and King. This scene will introduce the friendship alliance that Kim and Milton share in the workplace. In this episode, we will create a scenario that will show the difference between Kane and Milton as managers. Managers' interpersonal and communication skills are paramount. Setting the scene. Busy entertainment business in New York City. Situation. This company is owned and operated by Kane. Kane is a mobster who rules his employees with the fear... Milton, Kane's operational manager, is a empl model employee. Most employees avoid dealing with Kane, but will always go straight to Milton. Episode 1, The Call-Out. Susie, a member of the financial department, needs to call out of work because of a family emergency. Her child is in the hospital. Kane takes the call, but threatens her to fire her if she does not come into work because it is, she's more concerned about her falling behind on the workload. Kim, the head accountant of the company, receives a call from a very upset Susie. Instead of confronting him, he Kim goes to Milton with her concerns about the peer. Milton assures that Susie and her, that her family should come first instead of threatening her with a loss of position. He offers her help to keep her work. Milton finds the work that needs to be completed that day and divides it between himself and the rest of the financial team. Susie is able to take care of herself and the child without the fear of losing the job, and the company is able to stay on top of their work for the day. The work is completed and Kane doesn't even realize Susie's absence since all that he cared about was making money. Episode 2, Kim's Undercover Research this episode is where Kim will uncover some discrepancies in their files and paperwork. This will lead to do further research into the company's records, where she will uncover an overabundance of false records and fraudulent billing statements. The episode will end with her contemplating her next steps, knowing Kane's reputation and personal ties. She will need to choose her next moves wisely. In this episode, we will create a scenario that will show Kim working in the office and uncovering fraudulent information. Moral intensity is the degree to which people see an issue as an ethical one. Moral intensity has six components. Magnitude of the consequence, social consensus, probability of effect, temporal immediacy, proximity, concentration of effects, setting the scene, Kim in her office. Situation, she notices that Kane has been falsifying billing statements, committing tax fraud, and embezzling money from triple threat. She knows that Kane is part of the mafia, and she cannot risk the safety of her family by going to the cops, and she decides to discuss what's going on with them. After speaking with Mullen about Susie's situation, Kim heads over to her office to catch up on the payroll for the upcoming pay week. She realizes the green folder which holds the payroll that she gave to Kane earlier this week to sign off has not been returned to her. Kim heads to Kane's office and picks up a folder that she believes is the payroll folder and heads back to her office. After returning to her office, she opens the folder and realizes stolen personal information from taxpayers, tens of thousands of fraudulent tax returns, fake billing statements, 
false payrolls for employees who do not work for Triple Threat. This leads her to do, to doing further investigation into company's finances. She is shocked about what she finds, but she will not mention this to Kane for fear of retaliation. So she decides to go to Milton for advice. Episode 3, Whistleblower. After a great deal of thought, Kim decides to return to her good friend and co-worker, Milton, for advice. He is a model citizen and employee, and surely he will do. He will know what to do. Milton does not know if Kane has ties with the mom when she tells him this information, but he is sure that they will turn to Kane in and put a stop to the ethic unethical behavior. Kim's fear outweighs her concerns and she has second thoughts about her decision to involve Milton. In this episode, we will create a scenario which that will show Kim and Milton at the elevator talking. Whistleblowers is an employee who discloses illegal and unethical conduct on the part of the others in organization. Setting the scene, Kim advising Milton of what she discovered, uncovered, they go into her office and she shows Milton the evidence. Situation: Milton gets really upset and grabs his cell phone to call nine one one, but Kim talks him out of it and recommends he go talk to Kane first. Milton takes her advice and goes see Kane without with um regarding the inf evidence. Milton and Kim approach the elevator and Kim announces that she has something important to talk about. After they enter the elevator, Kim asks Milton if he knows anything about Kane's personal life. Milton says he does act fishy sometimes, but tries not to dig too deep when, and then asks Kim if she knows anything. He does it. Kim spills the beans on Kane's unethical behavior and illegal activity. Milton defends Kim and assures that her justice will be served. He pulls us out his cell phone and begins to dial the authorities. Kim stops him to embarrass and expresses her fear of what Kane is capable of doing, but Milner reassures that he can handle the situation and he will talk to Kane in person. Episode 4 Kane's Pain. Milner confronts Kane's actions directly and threatens him to turn him in. For the unethical and fraudulent behavior, Kane threatens Milton's safety, safety and gives him one last chance to take back his threat of exposure. When Milton shows no signs of withdrawal, Kane is infuriated and goes to hurt Milton out of nowhere. An undercover cop appears and detains Kane. Louis, the undercover cop, had been keeping tabs on Kane and was waiting for the opportunity to put him away for good. He proved to be in the right place at the right time and not only took Kane down, but saved Milton's life too. Milton is able to take over the company and turn the business around. In this episode, Milton threatens to turn Kane in for his all of his unethical behavior. Proactive recognition, effective managers, no matter what the, where they are in the organization structure, are those who can recognize the need for change at the earliest possible time. Setting the scene, Milton and Kane arguing in Kane's office and Louie outside the door. Situation, Kane threatens Milton, giving him one last chance to take back his comments. Louie detains Kane once and for all. Milton enters Kane's office and shuts the door behind him. Milton shares what he knows and this makes Kane very uneasy. Mullen claims he will take the information of the two authorities as Kane threatens his safety if he does not take it back. Mullen stays, stays true to his word and then shows sign, no sign of defeat. A furious Kane lunges forward to an attempt to hurt Mullen. Undercover officer Louis hears the commotion, bursts into the door, detaining Kane and saving Mullen's life. Episode 5, New Beginnings. With, Mil with Milton as the new owner, the triple threat 
Entertainment is a thriving company with satisfied employees. Kim and Susie converse about how content they are with the new management and the fact that Kane now rots away behind bars. Louis enters the office as all the employees share applause and gratitude of his address. Milton pops champagne and pours them all into the glass as he toasts to new beginnings. In this episode, the characters come together ecstatic about the new changes of the company. Process redesign involves a fundamental redesign of business processes to achieve dramatic improvements. Setting the scene, the new and improved office of Triple Threat Entertainment under the control of Moton. Situation is celebrated. Celebration for the new beginnings of Triple Threat Entertainment. Milton places his name on the door tag in low lieu of Kane's. Kim and Susie have a conversation about their excitement for life without the presence of Kane. Louis enters the office as all employees burst into applause. Milton pops champagne and pours them all a glass to toast to new beginnings. And that's it for our project.